People in London are beginning to say their final farewells to Queen Elizabeth II. Her coffin arriving at Westminster Hall this morning after a solemn procession through the city. As CBS News correspondent Ian Lee reports, the Queen will now lie in state until her funeral on Monday. Queen Elizabeth left Buckingham Palace for the last time today in a historic procession toward Westminster Hall. Britain's new king led the solemn journey behind the horse-drawn gun carriage with his siblings and sons, Princes William and Harry, the royal family's grief on public display. Massive crowds lined the streets across central London to honor the queen's 70-year reign. The queen's coffin is draped with a royal flag and topped with the crown she wore for her coronation in 1953. Elizabeth II will lie in state for the next four days. Some camped out for days to be among the first to pass her coffin. She has that magic about her, much more than monarchy. She's an icon of icons. It seems like the right thing to do, you know, being British, and um, that was my queen. The Queen's state funeral will be held here at Westminster Abbey. It's also where she married the love of her life, the late Prince Philip, and it's also where she was crowned queen. This is the end of a remarkable era, and it's farewell to a remarkable lady. A choir sang as part of the service for the Queen's arrival in Westminster Hall. As many as a million people are expected to wait in a miles-long line to say their farewell to their Queen. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. And stay right here with Eyewitness News as the world remembers Queen Elizabeth and pays tribute. Our Jim Donovan is the only local anchor in London for the historic events. You can see his live reports on Eyewitness News during our 4, 5 and 6 p.m. newscasts.